Tonight on MPB All Access Soundcheck, we feature the electronic pioneering sounds of New York's Elliot Lip. I'm Elliot Lip. Um, I'm a producer of electronic music uh, for the last about 10 years, 12 years. What's up, you guys? Thank you for being here with me tonight, everybody. I'm going to start this musical journey with a song called Sunset. Look at that sunset, Howard. A sunset's a beautiful thing, all right. It's like the daytime didn't want to end, isn't it? It's like the daytime is going to put up a big scrap. Set the world on fire. To keep the nighttime from creeping on. playing the piano when I was a kid. My mom played piano in church, so she started teaching me a little bit, and then I kind of got into production through a buddy of mine who had a drum machine and a sampler. I love to play, I love to write music, but I was not, I didn't have the patience to learn how to play instruments. I was way more into the engineer aspect and like producing, recording and all that, and kind of composing a whole song digitally. hip-hop beats for a while while I was in high school and um, finally discovered electronic music when I was in college and I didn't start releasing music until about let's say a year or so later after I left school and when I was in LA, by the time I made it to LA that's when my first record had come out. All right you guys Woo!
definitely like getting my foot in the door with that first record with you know having Preview sort of vouch for me, put his brand behind my music and tell everybody like, hey, it's, it's okay to like this guy. Like, <laughs> Make some noise if you're feeling good right now, you guys, for reals. Woo! These are from my album, Shark, Wolf, Rabbit, Snake. to make a living doing music, which is kind of an everyday thing. I was like burning CDs and trying to sell those at the local CD store and just really hustling. And so at that level, there's no room for doubt. Like I had to pay rent, you know, so. <laughs> I just was able to pull it off. I guess I've developed my own sort of style of playing just through being self-taught and I, I guess the, the records that I grew up on, the style of, of kind of like 70s funk and soul that I was inspired by originally. So it's like taking that and applying that to newer styles of dance music and electronic music. That I think there's a specific element there that gives me my, my own sound. You know? Jackson, Mississippi, what's up, you guys? first started getting into electronic music, I wanted to know the whole history of it. So I started getting into craft work and, you know, pre-craft work and just starting, you know, starting from there. Because that's one thing, it's like, I don't like to jump into a genre of music unless I feel like I have a total understanding of the history of it, you know.
sampling is just, to me, I, I just, I feel like I'm using the sampler as a musical instrument. And if I'm taking bits and pieces from other people's records, or even a whole loop, even a whole chord progression, I, I try to not put any rules around like what I'm gonna do with it, you know? Because a lot of times what ends up happening is, through the editing process, I'll compose a whole song, and there's layers and layers and layers of, of tracks and samples and all this going on. And I'll end up deleting the first loops that I began making the song with. But I just look at it like if, if it's gonna make the better, whatever happens, whatever makes the song the, like the best song I can create out of the, the tools I'm using, that's what I wanna go for, you know? actually had a band recently ask me to do a remix of one of their songs and I made like three versions of, of it and then I took one of the versions and I changed the key it was in and I slowed it down, added things and took things apart. And then by the time I put that song out, it still had, the bass line was still so similar to the other band song. It's hard to think about a chord progression or a series of notes as like that someone What's invented up, you it. Y'all good? This was by me and Michael Menner.
like playing my songs out while I'm working on them. Like I'll have a song that's like halfway finished and I'll, I'm, I'm out every weekend playing in clubs. I test it out and just see how people are reacting to it, whether people are responding to it or not. And see if it vibes with like my fans, you know, because it allows me to kind of tweak my song into in something that I feel like represents the whole community and not just what I'm trying to do personally. and electronic music it's it's to me it seems like it's it's always just about the the energy of the track just you know I, that's why a lot of songs you can put it on and you can tell right away whether you're feeling it or not whereas other styles of music they, when, you know, when there's so many changes happening you might have to get all the way to the middle of the song before you realize whether you like it or not you know? but with dance music it's just like once you get into the world that the song is creating, I think, it, I think the, the most important part of it is, is the vibe. Jackson. Woo! All right, you guys, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. I got, I got a brand new one for you. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Cool when you hear, you know, you hear pe people covering people covering songs. Like I've heard, um, there was this guy in Chicago that used to do um, R&B songs, but he did like a singer-songwriter version of them. But he'd take like a Beyonce song and make it sound like real sad and folky. 
<laughs> so, you know, but yeah, I think electronic music, at least sample-based music, you know, you know you're, you're, you're making a song out of someone else's song, you know, so you kind of do whatever you want. putting restrictions on how I make my music, you know. So if it blurs the lines between, someone might say, oh, that's not, a, that's not your song, that's a remix of this song, or that's a cover, or whatever, I don't care. I'm just trying to, you know, make music I enjoy listening to. 